Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Judge Muriel Robinson is here now and ready to answer your legal questions. Always nice to have you with us. Oh, good to be here. Thank you for being mm -hmm. here. Why don't we jump right in with our first caller, and it's going to be Barbara. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. What's your question for the judge? Yes, I had some wedding rings from belonged to me and my ex-husband, and my son and his wife wanted to borrow them. And I've asked for them back for the last 10, 12 years, and he told me that he gave them to his two sons. How do I get my wedding rings back? Well, you can file a replevy warrant uh, for personal property uh, through the General Sessions Court, and then it'll be a judicial determination. And uh, they'll probably come into court and say, well, she gave them to us. And you'll say, no, I only lent them. And uh, if you have some witnesses that are that witness this agreement or whatever or know about it, then you need to bring them to court. But a replevy warrant is what you do when there's question about uh, the ownership of property that's been held uh, in the possession of someone other than the owner. It's always tricky, isn't it? It is. <laughs> okay. Barbara, thanks for your call. Hi, Edna. What's your question for the judge today? Uh, I was wondering, I had a doctor that pretty much slandered me in my medical records. Uh, in 2008, I had to take early retirement, and she misdiagnosed me, and she was fixing to leave town. But before she left town, she wrote in my medical records, a uh, patient works at grocery store, mostly just standing around, and although she may be disabled from doing her current job, she's not had a head injury or brain injury, and that she could seek employment in other capacities, and that I was trying to get something for nothing. I worked for the same company for 31 years. Well, she was giving a me medical opinion. Evidently, uh, some uh, a person that was reviewing your case um, uh, asked a medical, uh, for a medical opinion based on your medical records. So um, <clears throat> there are attorneys that, um, that look into malpractice. That might be a form of that. But it's kind of hard when someone is asked to give their opinion and they state their opinion. You have got to prove what she said in probably the sworn affidavit, that it was absolutely wrong. You will have to have witnesses. It's, it's not, uh, you know, this doctor said this, the patient said that. You've got to have somebody in between that can actually testify that her diagnosis or opinion was definitely wrong. Uh, so like or someone had from errors her work. or omissions. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. that's going to be a very, very difficult thing for you to do, but I would ask you to... Uh, consult with uh, uh, an attorney uh, who specializes in those wrongful uh, acts. All right. Edna, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Hope that helps. Hi, Linda. What's your question for Judge Robinson? Yes. I have a husband who's in a nursing home, mm -hmm. and he has dementia, or I believe it's gone into Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, do I need a power of attorney to take care of all the financial matters and uh, He's in pretty bad shape right now, so if I do need one, would I have to go through the court or through him to well, get it done? He, I, I, if, if he has dementia or Alzheimer's, he may not be competent enough to sign a power of attorney. So you might just pass that up and go directly into the probate court if you live in Davidson County or whatever court in your county that handles probate matters or estate matters and uh, ask the court to appoint you as his conservator. That way you can make the decisions and, of course, um, uh, collect the assets and administer them for his care and whatever. You'd have to make an accounting of that and all and probably post a bond. Uh, and some of these accounts may have your name on them, so you might be able to have access to the assets uh, because your name is on the accounts. But I think the court would have to appoint you as a conservator if his mind is absolutely uh, a little shaky or he's been diagnosed with uh, dementia or Alzheimer's. You probably need the advice of an attorney to make that happen. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you so much. Some oh, good, good advice and here. interesting calls today. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get your question answered today, you can try us again. Judge Robinson will be here on the third Tuesday of every month.